All right, everybody, you're live here at the award ceremony. We're just starting to get it together here. Mel's about to start the announcing here on 4th Avenue. Hope everybody welcome to the Grand Awards ceremony. We're ready to go here. We're going to present our top three. All of our buses are finished in the money. We're happy to say that. All 17 positions will be paid. We're happy to say that. All 17 positions will be paid. That's going to be the seat however. And that's going to be at the banquet, which is now at open event. You do not have to pay to get into the banquet. That's it, Barry. Yep. So come on down to that at 6.30 in the evening. You can come and see everybody get their awards. For today, we're going to present the top three awards plus two special awards that are given each year. One is the Susan Hope Award, and the other one is going to be the Top Rookie Award, which we will be preparing for. Christine Dozier, our club president, is running around here somewhere. She's right there, Mel. Christine's right there. There's Christine. She's getting the trophy now, so we're ready to do that. In the meantime, we're going to let you meet each one of our hunters. Cam here is going to be talking to the one at the time so you can see who's who. I'll ask you to step forward as you come call your name up to here and talk to Cam. And then Frank. Cam, I'm going to push you right about here. And then you all. We'll You're off. next. So order, you know? I'm going to go in the order that everybody started today. Okay, oh, okay. So our first musher is number 17, Hugh Neff. All right, Hugh Neff. Come on up. Hugh from Chicago, Illinois. Hugh Neff. How'd it go this weekend? Oh, just amazing. Uh, thanks for uh, all the volunteers, all the trail crossing people. Uh, just a magical effort you guys put together. And it's so uh, nonchalant. You can tell how professional you guys all are. And uh, I'll definitely be back for this race. Because, um, you know, this is this is the, the granddaddy of them all. And there's spirits on this trail that you can really feel. And congrats to Buddy. you the man. And uh, God bless Alaska. Great job, Hugh. All right. We're here today with Dave Turner. Dave. Dave Turner Racing Chaos Fairbanks. Hey, just like you said, I want to thank everybody that helped put this race on. Anchorage for shutting down the city streets so that we can all have, have a real blast here. I hope everybody saw a great show today. Uh, congratulations, buddy, for number 10. It's a pretty, pretty big event. Uh, and just thanks for all the effort everybody makes to put this on. Right on, Nick. Come on, next, Mitchell Jacobson. All right, Mitchell Jacobson, our youngest musher, 23-year-old from Cook Northwest Territory. Congratulations, Mitchell. Uh, thanks to all my sponsors from back home, my family and friends, my fiance, my dad. Uh, congratulations to these guys. And you just want to, it's just an honor to be on a trail with such good teams like this. And, Congratulations, thanks to everyone, all the volunteers, and we'll be back. We hope we're back next year. Up next, Nikki Sale. All right, Nikki Sale from Seoul, South Korea. Nikki. <laughs> to your wife, to your family. So he is a Alaskan now. Mandy Johnson. Mandy Johnson, rookie from White Horse, Yukon. I made it. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for anybody who does this race and finishes it just after this. It's, yeah, it's not easy. I did a lot of limited class stuff and this is definitely a lot. <laughs> All right, thank you. Congratulations, Mandy. And only one of a few dozen women who have ever run this race. There's only been about 40 women who have run this race and about 450 men. So, very impressive. Correct. 30 times this guy has won this race, however. And that is going to be Marvin Conroy at our number 12 today. Marvin. Marvin of the North Pole, Alaska. Hey, I'd like to thank my sponsors, uh, Teams for Local 959, and uh, my pastor up in Fairbanks, Craig Nikolai, of uh, Mount Moons of Alaska Church. And my handlers, uh, uh, Kathleen and uh, Colleen, and my brothers here, they help me out, my brother-in-law, Tom. And I just want to thank uh, the good people of Anchorage and congratulate our three top mushers here. Thank you. Bye. 
Thanks, Marvin. We'll hope we're back next year. Coming up next, this guy's only run the race 20 times. And that's Don Cousins, who was number 10 today. Don. Right on, number to Don Cousins. Hey, congratulations, buddy. Way to doing great. Awesome job. Uh, congratulations to Asa for and the city of Anchorage for a phenomenal race. This is going to be my last year, but you know what? I'm going to come back one more time and I'm going to bring my wife with me. Thank you. Congratulations, Cousin Don. So we've already had our youngest last year at 25. That was our oldest last year at 70. So as you can see, the age is not in the tenement for doing this race. Getting off with our next launcher, Wendy Callis. Wendy. Wendy Callis from Fairbanks, Alaska. Congratulations. Shutting down the streets and just amazing. I, mean, I just drive around after the race and it's just I can't believe that we were in Donald's Stanley Street. So thank you, Anchorage, for shutting down the streets and thanks for the fire fighters for holding the sleds. We couldn't do it without you guys. Thanks a lot. Congratulations, Wendy. Yeah, we just know we got over hundred volunteers who did this, including the fire department all to the guys to hold the sleds, all the people that are out there on the trail. A lot of people we don't see who are up in the tower, making sure the timing is done. So how about three hips for them? Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! There you go. All right. Come on next. I believe the next one is Andy Hooten. If he's up from somewhere, Andy, come on. Andy Hooten. Congratulations from Nanana, Alaska. It was a good day today. <laughs> and uh, thanks to my young dog team. They did awesome. And thank you to the club and all the volunteers. Um, you guys may not realize how important that is to the dog marching community. That we are here and the dog marchers and all the volunteers are such a great group of people. I just totally enjoy it. Thanks for having me. We'll hope you're back next year. Yeah, Excellent. Of course. Andy will be back next year. Congratulations. We're good on the name is Alex Sprinton. Alex, see you out here. All right, from Bondurant, Wyoming, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Crowd favorite. Hans Gotts. Hans Gotts was in the hospital in December with a perforated intestine, and here he is. Really great run, Hans. I just want to thank everybody involved here who uh, put, put this great uh, event on. Uh, for us, yeah, it was a last minute decision to come here, and uh, probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. I uh, had a great weekend. I want to thank uh, my partner, Susie, for keeping the dogs running while I was out. And uh, yeah, thank you all, and uh, might be back next year. I guess our team has one more year in. <laughs> right on, beautiful team. Up next, Tony Blanford. Tony Blanford, epic year. Congratulations, Tony. Thank you. I want to thank Buddy. Congratulations to your family. And uh, I actually want to point it out uh, how uh, handlers and people on the street are very helpful. So I had an incident where a dog got out of the line on my way out. Yesterday, in the trail health can jumped in and did just what they were supposed to do and saved me. Probably the whole for the whole race. So I appreciate that a great deal. I also appreciate all the coaches I have on Heartbreak Motel or Hill. Uh, sometimes I think about should I walk <laughs> Thank you. Great job, Tony Lambert. Up next, our next question is Gary Markley. Gary Markley out of Salcha, Alaska, kennel of 29 dogs. Hey, Kennel, thank you. Straight to be here. Thank you, Dan. Putting on this event. I grew up as a little boy and watched this race. And uh, I was one of those little kids on the side of the road, the side of the road watching. And, and uh, it was just great to be here and see Buddy and uh, Lynn and Ken. It was awesome. And I uh, used to watch George come in. <laughs> Great job, Gary. Up next, before we present the hardware and uh, our three top finishers, we want to welcome uh, our club president. We're going to keep this up here too. Christine Chosen, where are you? Uh, there she is. First award we have to present is going to be for the Ruby 
Rookie of the Year. Come on, you're tackling out. I'm going out of the board. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Uh, we are going to set the Rookie of the Year, yes. And then we have a couple more things to do, but we can go right for it. I know that sometimes a race is thought of looking very disappointing on various levels, but in the end, the, the extraordinary satisfaction of running the toughest race in the world prevails, especially when you get to walk home with the Rookie of the Year award, which goes to Manny Johnson. All right! Wow. <laughs> Can we see it? Wow, Manny Johnson, the Rookie of the Year. Congratulations. Wow. Now you got to come back. What a moment. Congratulations, brother. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's touching, man. Wow. Congratulations, dude. Thanks. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go with the top three. We want to welcome a Ferrari. Queen Princess and Sweethearts, we've got a little lady driver down here. Back to work out of lady driver. King and Queen Regent. The polar bear. <laughs> Everybody who could possibly be royal is here. And they're going to help us do the presentation to the top three. Uh, I believe we have the times for the top three. In third place, that's going to be Michael Tetzner at 27307 for his three days of competition. I'll call on Ward Trapper to make the presentation of the gold band. Turn around please, Ward Trapper, and let them get a do the work that was picture made. There we go. Okay, it's all good? Okay, and now a few words from Michael here. I know he's got his hands full. Yeah. Let's help him. So, good run today? No, today I had a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> but I had that it was nice, but today I had a lot of software going out, you know, so I said to him, be quiet and said, we have to do something to come on the top three. You know? So, I would like to thank my friend Eddie, who helped me this weekend, my wife, Corinne, and uh, Lily for the awesome job. And uh, I'd like to thank Anchorage uh, for putting that event in. It's a great event. I hope it will run for a thousand years, like the new clubhouse from Nasca. And uh, congratulations to Bahia and uh, 
from my grand friend. I fight always with him. I hope you will be lucky next year. So, thank you. You want to talk to the uh, helpers here? Yeah, this is my little Juna. She's four years old. She does an awesome job. She runs all the skates. Hi, Juna. She looks a little bit like, oh, I don't like anything like girls, you know. <laughs> she like nothing. She don't even know like to eat sometimes. That's why she's so skinny. But she runs like girls. <laughs> 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 Michael Fester, third place. Come on. Congratulations, Michael. Coming in second place today. This guy's been a couple of days also. Mr. Q7223, Mr. Greg Taylor from Fairbanks. Oh, um, oh boy. Yeah, this is a stressful weekend. I called the grandma and man. I used up all my coupons with a good letter today. <laughs> I'd like to thank my sponsor, Ron Bunders. Job, Greg. Greg Taylor, second place. Second place is Greg Taylor, and then there we got one more to give out here. And uh, I don't know, we do this every year, so he's probably got it down. <laughs> First place, tenth number one finish in this race, which makes him tied for the most ever with George Chapman. This guy's name is uh, oh yeah, Blaney Streeper. Better known a lot of us as Buddy Streeper because we were watching the road that way. Blaine Streeper with a time of 262.20. Congratulations, you are the number one rusher in the World Championship then already. Come on over to that program. Wow! The Blaine, I'm heading over to this to give you a Oh, wow. And thank you to the royalty. What a beautiful bunch of ladies. And your trap was my favorite, the lady trapper. So a round of applause for all them. Uh, thanks to those city makers, it's been said too many times, but we can't emphasize it enough. We've all run dogs all over the world, Michael, Greg, and all of my fellow competitors, and there's no setting like this setting. Um, I'm in awe looking over everybody's heads to look down that avenue. That's what I'm like. This is our Wrigley Field, our Fenway, our Indianapolis, our, you know, Belmont States. This is our Kentucky Derby. This is what we love, and all of us mushers love this and the health of these dogs need us. Okay, this is the evolution of the sled dog. This is the origin of the evolution of these dogs that turned into Yukon's Quest champions with Hans Gag, and the Iditarod champions, champions with my friend Lance Mackey, and former champions of this race, and then all them champions in Europe. All them dogs get back to this race right here. And just like Greg said, this young dog that he has is from one of my former leaders here, Elvis. And Elvis is the father of this dog here that I have named Wonka. And Wonk is the father of a team of pups at home that I plan on coming up here and winning my 11th World Championship next year. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, my team, my supporters. I've got a lot of people up here that I want to thank, but especially Bridget. Bridget, her daughter Destiny, and her friend Kyle, they always come out and help us. My daughters, Alva and Clara, who I know are going to be running this race one day. Nina, who's also been a, a winner of, the, of several events, and she's always there to help me out. Uh, my auntie and uncle Dan and Val come up to support us. My good friends from uh, Fairbanks come down, Ernest come down. My buddy Terry, Terry, where you at? There he is, that's my buddy. Uh, Hall of Fame member Terry from Fairbanks come down, cheers us on. 
Um, also, my auntie and uncle uh, Amy gave me a really good hand here this weekend. I'm uh, probably going to forget somebody else, but Lena's giving me the thumbs up. So we're looking okay, folks. So thank you very much. Thanks to everybody back home. Thanks to our sponsors. And we really look forward to coming back. There's only one number that matters, and that's number 11. So I'll be back next week. There you go. Thank you for Wonka. Wonka. There's Wonka, everybody. Look at that beautiful dog. Yeah, there's Wonka. Alba. Okay, good. We got all the girls in now. Yep, right here. Great. Ten o'clock, Grace Marshall. Great day. Ten o'clock.
We actually have a picture from 1918, one of the first races that was run on Fourth Avenue from that time to. So we hope you come in and visit us in the running shop here and see what's going on with the country district. Meantime, we want to thank you all for coming down. We'll see you next year for Fur Run in 2024 and the World Championship Sled Dog Race brought to you by the Alaskan Sled Dog and Racing Association. Hey, oh. Here we are. <laughs> You guys get all your shots? Great job, brother. Hey, I want to kick off. Hold on, I, hold on. I come around when I come around. I got to get the royalty together. Thank you so much. There's our royalty, and they did such great interviews today with the mushers. Woo <laughs> Little photo bomb there. Little photo bomb. Look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can hardly stand it. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the dog mushers. Wow. Okay. Hello. Okay, there we go. We got Buddy. We're about to close out here, friends. We have the banquet tonight. It's going to be beautiful. Right on. Merv's in there. Our honorary musher for the weekend here. <laughs> there it is, the final scenes. Mel, great job. Thank you. Kale, great job for you too. We'll see everybody next year right here on That's 4th, it. right? We finally got this thing down to a science, right? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> awesome. Cool job, right brother. Tune next year. <laughs> yeah, tune in. I got to close it out. Here we go, friends. I'm going to go ahead and close it out. We got to get ready for the banquet tonight. Come join us. Come on down. And thanks so much for supporting the mushrooms here on 